Marxists' feminisms ruined lives, the horror I witnessed inside the women's liberation movement. By Mallory Millett, a sister of the radical U.S. feminist Kate Millett. The article, was an attempt to undo some of the destruction of family life caused by Mallory's sister. And her fellow feminists. The real aim of feminism is the destruction of marriage, the re-engineering of the family, and the moving of women en masse out of the home and into the workforce. Millet tells how it all got underway. In 1969 she was invited by Kate to a consciousness-raising group. Present were 12 university-educated women. The chair opened the meeting with a back-and-forth recitation, like a litany. Why are we here today? She asked. To make revolution, they answered. What kind of revolution? She replied. The cultural revolution, they chanted. And how do we make cultural revolution? She demanded. By destroying the American family. They answered. How do we destroy the family? She came back. By destroying the American patriarch, they cried exuberantly. And how do we destroy the American patriarch? She replied. By taking away his power. How do we do that? By destroying monogamy. They shouted. How can we destroy monogamy? Here their means to destroy marriage left Mallory dumbstruck. By promoting promiscuity, eroticism, prostitution and homosexuality. They resounded. They then discussed the setting up of the National Organization of Women with the aim of deconstructing Western society. To do that they argued, they needed to invade every American institution. Everyone must be permeated with the revolution. The media, the educational system, universities, high schools, school boards, etc., then, the judiciary, the legislatures, the executive branches and even the library system. Millet's books played a crucial role in advancing this agenda, and she ended up on the cover of Time magazine which celebrated her as the Karl Marx of the women's movement. This was because her book laid out a course in Marxism 101 for women. Her thesis, The Family is a Den of Slavery with the Man as the Bourgeoisie and the Woman and Children as the Proletariat. The only hope for women's liberation was this new women's movement. Her books captivated the academic classes and soon women's studies courses were installed in colleges in a steady wave across the nation with Kate Millett books as required reading. Mallory went on to picture how young women going to college for the first time might go to one of these courses in all innocence. But there she would be taught that her father is a villain, her mother is a fool who allowed a man to enslave her into barbaric practices like monogamy and family life and motherhood, which is a waste of her talents. By the time women's studies professors have finished with her, she will be a shell of the innocent girl you knew, who's soon convinced that although she should flop down with every boy she fancies, she should not, by any means, get pregnant. And so... As a practitioner of promiscuity, she becomes a wizard of prevention techniques, especially abortion. The goal of women's liberation, according to Mallory, is to wear each female down to the point of losing all empathy for boys, men or babies. She will be taught that she, in order to free herself, must become an outlaw. This is only reasonable because all Western law is a concoction of the evil white man whose true purpose is to press her into slavery.